and I've probably been wearing this same makeup for about past week. Ever since I got the Naked 2 Basics, which I would show you, but I can't find it right now. The hell? Oh, it's my bathroom. Now I'm too lazy to get up and walk three feet to my bathroom to go get it. But I've finally been able to just sit down and film again because I am done with my exams, at least until next month. So I just have a whole bunch more free time and just a whole bunch of stress has been lifted off of my shoulders. But you guys probably don't care about my personal life, so let's just get to the makeup. First, I'm taking my Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation, and this is supposed to last 24 hours. I don't know if it does, but I will say that at the end of the day, after I get home from work and class, it still looks pretty good. And this is in the color 200 beige, so I'm just dotting this all over my face and then buffing it in with my Real Technique, my Real Techniques buffing brush. Tonight, standing in there, hands in my hair. Ah. And then I have to get out those gross little eye boogies you get. But now I'm just priming my eyelids with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer. What do you want? What do you see? And where is forever? But now I am using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer just to highlight under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. Where do you want me? Where do you want me? And now I'm just setting all of that with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the color Transparent. So high and you get used to knowing everything about each other. So you So now going into my Naked 2 Basics palette, I'm just taking the color cover and buffing this into my crease. And then I'm taking the color frisk and patting this all over my lid. What do you want? What do you see? And where is far ever residing? The girl's gotta make her peace. And now I'm just taking the color Skimp. That's a funny name. <laughs> well, I'm taking the color Skimp and just highlighting the inner corners of my eyes. And now it's time to curl our lashes, so I'm just using my Revlon eyelash curler and here's a trick to make your eyelashes curl more, I guess. Take it and then just gently raise your eyelash curler up. You're going to look very scary and it's going to feel like your eyeballs are going to pop out of your head, but they're not. And now I'm just taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I have seriously been loving this mascara. It is completely worth all of the hype that it gets. It's just really, really amazing. But yeah, I'm just taking that mascara and putting it on my eyelashes. And now I'm taking my Naked Decay, my Naked Decay, my Urban Decay Naked Pressed Finishing Powder in the color Naked Light and just putting this all over my face and down my neck. Now for my eyebrows, I'm using the Maybelline New York Define a Brow in the color Medium Brown and just tracing over where my eyebrow already is. I don't really like to do too much with my eyebrows, mainly because I don't know how. But I just like to fill them in so they don't look so not filled in. He says he loves me as long as the day is wide from us. And then I try to see if they look the same, but usually they never come out even, so you just kind of go with it. And now I'm using the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the color Damsel. And I was trying to line my tight line, but my tight line was just not having it today, and it kept messing up, and I kept stabbing myself in the eye. So I'm just going to line my waterline. And then I'm going back into the Naked 2 Basics palette and taking the same color cover as I used in my crease and just smudging that into my lash line. With a man to understand. 
And now I'm taking the Maybelline The Rocket mascara and I really like to use this mascara for my bottom lashes because the bristles on the brush are so tiny that it's just a lot easier to control and you don't get mascara all over your under eye. Well, it's about as new as last year's rain pouring down from the skies. I'm just taking the blush from my Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette and gently putting that on the apples of my cheeks. Why? Oh, but you better not forget how I reclaim the world as ours. So this is what it looks like when I have all of my makeup done. And now the last thing to do is my hair. And my hair has been in this bun for about 24 hours so it's probably going to look like a hot mess when I take it out and I was right it looks pretty bad and I'm usually running too late to do anything with my hair so I just brush it out with my fingers and try to tame it as much as possible so this is what it looks like I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I don't think I have anything left to say oh yeah um, I'm going to Peru but sorry if that sounded bad but I am so freaking excited because I live in Texas and the farthest that I've ever traveled is probably Maryland. Well, I was born in Hawaii, but I was only like one day old, so I don't remember any of that. But I'm going to try to vlog while I'm there. I don't know how well that's going to go because I have very bad memory and I don't always take my phone with me because when I'm out having fun, you know a lot of people whenever they're out having fun or whatever and they always take pictures of everything. I don't always like to have my phone with me because it always just distracts me from having fun. I don't know. That's just how I think of it. Did you guys hear my tummy growl? I haven't eaten breakfast yet and I'm really hungry. I have like a three hour layover in Dallas, which is stupid. Okay, I'm flying out of Houston. If you guys don't care, you can like exaggerate or whatever. But I'm driving to Houston, which is only like an hour and a half away. And Houston is like down here. And then I have to fly to Dallas, which is up here. And then I'm flying to Mexico, which is more down here. And then to Peru. And it's so weird. I don't know why. That was the cheapest flight, though, to go from Houston to Dallas and then to Mexico. But anyway, I have a three-hour layover in Dallas. And then I have, like, a five-hour layover in Mexico. I'm going to be so, so bored. I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to be all alone. Maybe I'll make a friend. Just kidding. I'm socially awkward. But I'll try to vlog as much as I can so that you guys can see what Peru looks like if you haven't seen it and I guess what the Mexico airport looks like too. You want to see that? I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Maybe I'll take a nap. I do have very, very bad anxiety so flying overseas is not going to help it at all. So I'm just a little bit scared. Every time I think about it, I feel like I'm about to throw up because I just get so nervous and so anxious. I did hear that some motion sickness medicine kind of knocks you out. So I'll probably just take like a whole bottle of that. That's all that I have. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.